Hey guys, it's Becky with Advanced Screen, and today I'm just going to show you a real quick demo on how to coat a screen. So we've already degreased our screen to clear this mesh of any contaminants. I've got a very popular emulsion, one of the top emulsions that we sell. I'm going to do a one-in-one -one coat on the screen. There's a lot of different ways to do screen printing. There's many techniques out there. Uh, you'll find some people doing a one-in-one, -one, a two-in-two, -two, a two-in-one. Um, it's all personal preference and it really depends on the mesh count, the type of emulsion that you're using, and your artwork. So I've got this emulsion sitting in my trough and I'm going to allow the emulsion to kind of get to the very edge of the trough. I've got these little angles here that are going to become uh, kind of contact points or guidelines on my mesh. And you want to do this in subdued lighting. I've got a little bit of light going on right now. Um, we don't want to pre-expose the screen, so we kind of want to make sure that we're doing this in a dark area, like a UV-free area. We're going to start at the bottom of the screen on the shirt side. And I'm not going to come in contact with the frame itself. I'm going to start right above the frame on the mesh. So I'm just going to allow the emulsion to kind of get in contact with the mesh. It's not going to fall through or anything. Make sure those uh, side angles are in contact with the screen and then we're just going to kind of go up with medium pressure. Kind of got stuck there. And then as I get to the top, I'm going to lift the screen forward. And I'm going to kind of scrape off the top so we don't get any of those drips or anything happening. So we've got the shirt side of the screen coated. We're going to move to the back side of the screen. So let the emulsion just kind of fall to the edge, get in contact. Lift the screen forward, kind of scrape off the emulsion. And we have a really nice even coat of emulsion on our screen. And as a tip, if you guys end up getting these little drips, you can take like a little cardstock or like a business card or maybe uh, an ink scraper and you can kind of just like end up smoothing out those edges and then when we dry the screen we're gonna dry it in a dark area a dark room no UV light we don't want to pre-expose the screen we're gonna dry it with the squeegee side up shirt side down if you guys have any questions about coding please feel free to give us a call or post a comment. We're here to help. Visit our website, advancedscreenprintsupply.com. We appreciate you guys watching these videos. Thank you very much.